We have talked the last couple of weeks about the new Habitat for Humanity community being built off Marshland Road, Mid-Island, one of its biggest supporters a kind of unlikely group. Lisa I'm here at the Habitat for Humanity home sites where people are busy building new homes for some very, very lucky homeowners on Hilton Head Island. With me are Jean Beck and Charles Sampson with the Realtors Association. And they're gonna tell us a little bit about this project. Thanks for joining us today. Thanks for having us. Thanks for being here. Uh, so just briefly, how did the Realtors become involved in um, the Habitat for Humanity project? I'll let you say that. Okay. Um, Realtors have been involved in the Habitat project for many years. We did a lot of building over in the Bluffton and Brendan Woods. And when this came here on available to us uh, to work on Hilton Head Island, they jumped right in and over the last five years have been working to put money into a okay. um, fund that will be able to build what we're building today. And just tell us, how many home sites are slated for this uh, Habitat Circle area here? This is called the Glen, and I think there's 28, but I'm not sure. It's a great piece of property on Hilton Head, and as Jean said, we started in 2002, and it was, and, and our first house was built on September the 11th. The, all the volunteers you see behind us almost are from the Board of Realtors or affiliates of our association. And about how many volunteers does it take to build a house? Well, <laughs> <laughs> over the course of three days, yesterday we started at 8 o'clock in the morning with a slab. And by lunchtime, all the walls were up and we started putting the sheathing on. And you see now we're doing that. And the other two homes that are there, the first one is being done by Colleton River. The second one is being done by the, one of the Rotary Clubs. And they started two weeks ago. We want to be where they are now by tomorrow afternoon, Saturday. So from beginning to end, about how long? About 100 volunteers have registered to, to work over the next three days. That's exciting. Now the house will probably take about two and a half to three months for it to be totally finished. And one of the volunteers with us yesterday was the Maria, the lady whose house we're building. And a little bit more about her and how you select people for these well, projects? we don't. A Habitat selects it. All we do is come up with $70,000 and provide the sweat equity and the labor. Yeah. Yesterday when I spoke with her, she was thrilled that the realtors were the ones building her house. And when I spoke with her, she was so excited and her inspiration, it literally brought tears to my eyes. She was so excited. That's amazing. Now, if people in the community want to get involved, um, what would you suggest? I would suggest that they call Habitat because they're here Monday through Friday from 8 o'clock to about 2 o'clock. And, and you can volunteer, but you need to call and, and, and get uh, registered with them and, and there's some forms you have to fill out and a safety video you have to watch and stuff. We, one of the two things that we tell our, all of our volunteers is have fun and nobody can get hurt. Good advice. Thank you so much for joining us today. We really appreciate it and we can't wait to see the finished product. Great. Thanks for having us. You ought to come out because when they do dedicate these homes, it's a neat Good deal. Cheers. Oh. <laughs> Thank you again. This is Aaron Lentz from the Glen. Now back to you.